So Beatitudo and the way you describe it with its um, necessary longing and desire and journeying towards it, Eastern ideas like the Four Noble Truths say that this is, in fact, something that we can move past, that it's not completely universal, and that moving past this desire and this longing is, in fact, a viable path towards enlightenment. Is there a way to resolve those Eastern ideas with what you said today, or is that a fundamental difference? Yeah, it's a good question. Of course, it would take us, you know, a year to search it out completely. But I think that that's right. There's a key difference because it's the it's the quieting of desire, you know, nirvana. It's the blowing out of the candle of desire that is the goal of the Buddhist tradition. And desire, in a way, is the problem, you know, born of ego and so on. And so, you know, dependent co-origination and through um, intense meditation, one finds that point of putting out desire. Where the Christian thing, and Augustine is, is uh, typical here, is not putting out desire, but awakening and, des- and directing desire appropriately. Um, now, I think we can play, as Thomas Merton did, the true self, false self uh, game. And that's a, that's a good way, I think, to dialogue with, with Buddhism. Is there a false self that's full of all kinds of weird and errant desires? Yeah, and that should be put to death. Blow that out if you want. Blow out the candle of that kind of desire. But I would say as a Christian, there's not just that. There's also a properly directed desire, uh, an awakened and heightened desire. Um, But you're on to, I think, a very fundamental point of demarcation. But I think true self, false self might give us a Christian analogy to the blowing out of, of errant desire. But we wouldn't go so far as to say that desire, qua desire is the problem. It's, it's um, you know, uh, de Lubac talks about this, the claudicatio mysterieuse, this weird um, um, kind of crippling of desire. That's the problem. But that's, it's a great question. It's the point of demarcation, I think.